So, you're looking to build a new PC, and the one thing that we all want is to future-proof our purchase by getting the right components. And it absolutely boggles your mind when it comes to choosing between DDR4 and DDR5, especially when you're considering to build an Intel 12th Gen or 13th Gen build. Because, let's face it, there are so many motherboard choices to go for if you opt for DDR4 RAM, but meanwhile, prices of DDR5 has come down so much that it merely takes a slight cash top-up to own a kit. Which is why today, we are going to build a system and take a look at Crucial's DDR5 program on how well it performs in gaming and various workflows as compared to DDR4. We've got the 32GB kit right here that operates up to 5600 mega transfers per second at Intel's extreme memory profile. And Crucial has also kindly thrown in their T700 PCIe Gen 5 SSD to give us a feel of living in the fast lane. As for our setup, we have two systems that's powered by the same Intel Core i7-12700K processor, AMD Radeon RX 6900 XP GPU, but running on DDR4 and Crucial's DDR5 sticks respectively. So let's get on and find out if DDR5 is worth it in your new PC build. So yep, here's our new PC build with Crusoe's DDR5 Pro and the T700 PCI SSD. So one of the main reasons that you'll want to go for DDR5 RAM is the increased memory bandwidth for multi-core processors and it has better power efficiency than DDR4 as it merely operates at 1.1 volts, which will greatly benefit applications and games that takes advantage of multi-core processing. The Crucial DDR5 Pro is one of the more affordable memory kits you can buy in the market now. It doesn't come with any RGB lighting and features a really simple black kit spreader, which is good for those who prefers a less flashy system. On the other hand, the Crucial T700 SSD looks pretty badass with a very tall black color heatsink that will most certainly require you to remove your motherboard's M2 slot shroud, but it can be thankfully be removed if you want to. It's just odd that Crucial has used security talk screws that you would find on laptops and smartphones, which would mean you are recommended to use the included heatsink because our 1TB model here runs at crazy fast read and write speeds of 11.1GB per second and 9.5GB per second respectively. The Crucial DDR5 Pro offers two overclocking profiles with speeds of 5200 mega transfers per second and 5600 mega transfers per second. The overclock memory timings are a little loose and you definitely lose up to any DDR4 systems when it comes to memory latency. However, let's take a look at the benchmarks we have performed on our systems. On IDOS 64 memory benchmark, the Crucial DDR5 Pro clearly pulls ahead of our DDR4 system with two times the memory bandwidth on memory copy, write and read, which is very impressive considering it only uses 1.1 volts on Intel Extreme Memory Profile while our DDR4 RAM requires 1.35 volts to make it 3200 MHz. Although the Crucial DDR5 Pro's default XMP timings give it a longer latency of 91.8 nanoseconds compared to 70.9 nanoseconds on our DDR4 system. Thankfully, the Crucial DDR5 Pro has a lot of headroom for overclocking and we managed to push it to 6000 MHz with improved timings of 46, 43, 43, 68 at 1.3 volts, which offers slightly more bandwidth in memory benchmarks and a significantly reduced latency of 79.6 nanoseconds. Moving on to gaming, there's very little difference when it comes to their average frame rates. Among the four AAA game titles we tested, the Crucial DDR5 Pro managed to outperform the DDR4 system at overclock speeds in Hogwarts Legacy, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and A Plague Tale Requiem. In terms of productivity and creative benchmarks, this is where the Crucial DDR5 Pro really shines over our DDR4 system, where it managed to get more than 30% of improvement in compressing and decompressing tasks in 7-zip. In Cinebench, the Crucial DDR5 Pro offers a 9% score improvement in the multi-core tests. As for the Crucial T700 SSD, this PCIe Gen 5 drive is capable of delivering its advertised speeds in benchmarks, though in real-world usage, it doesn't feel too different from a PCIe Gen 4 drive. Its average temperatures hovers between 50 to 55 degrees Celsius in regular workloads, and it can get pretty hot at up to 80 degrees Celsius when you push it which can result in a performance throttle of down to PCIe Gen 4 speeds. Overall, the Crucial DDR5 Pro is a really decent memory kit, and you will definitely get some good performance gains over DDR4 if you are mainly doing creative and productivity workflows. The Crucial T700 PCIe Gen 5 SSD comes in capacities of 1, 2, and 4 terabytes, which I highly recommend if you want the most minimal loading times in games and reduce file transfer durations. These products can now be purchased from Crucial's flagship store on Lazada and Shopee.
So yeah, that's all for my thoughts and review on the Crucial DDR5 Pro RAM and the T700 PCI SSD. Do let me know about your thoughts in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to us for more videos coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.